hello friends welcome to our youtube channel metallurgical engineering so this video is about the free energy composition curve of an isomorphous system so all we know is that the isomorphous systems are those which is having both liquid solubility complete liquid solubility as well as solid solubility so those are called the isomorphous system so if we will generate a simple isomorphous system so this is the a and b binary isomorphous system so this will be the liquid this is solid this is liquid plus solid and these are the terminal solid solutions here a is 100 percent here b is 100 percent so uh, suppose if we want to make the free energy composition diagram for an isomorphous system at three different temperature first one is this okay second one is this and third one is this i will also uh, give the naming like t1 t2 and t3 so in this video we will see how we can draw this free energy versus composition diagram okay so this is the temperature axis and uh, this is your composition okay yeah so first we will uh, make uh, the free energy versus composition diagram for t1 okay for this one i'll choose different color okay so this is free energy free energy we uh, denote by g okay g versus composition so here this is the b percentage of b so we will take it as a composition okay at t1 so we can see here at t1 as we will move from this side to this side that is uh, from left to right okay from here to here so first liquid is stable okay liquid is stable all over the range only the thing is here below this line liquid is also stable here is it is less so but the liquid is stable over all the range so we will make liquid curve down okay so this is for g of liquid and solid is unstable okay so we will make we'll also make this gap okay because here both are coming together here this place so we'll make a short gap in between two so this is for solid okay now we will go for the second temperature that is t2 so at t2 temperature we will see the stability of solid and liquid with the help of give free energy versus composition diagram okay so at t2 temperature we are seeing that first liquid is stable then two phase region liquid plus solid okay and then solid is stable here so what we will do first from left hand side to right hand side we will make the reverses composition diagram by making the liquid is stable first and in somewhere between two phase region is stable and then solid is stable so this is the liquid curve okay and first solid was unstable then it is stable so this is the solid curve okay so here somewhere and here somewhere we are seeing that these are the two composition in between this two phase region are stable okay so the common tangent between these two points will let us know about the two phase region okay so this is the common tangent between solid s and liquid s curve so this is liquid plus solid region okay and here obviously this liquid is stable here solid is stable now we will go for the third that is t3 
okay so this is also g words is composition at t3 so this is also again very simple from left to right if we will see so as all over the range solid is only stable but the only thing is here there is a small gap between two phase region that terminal solid solution and solid phase and here is a big gap okay so we will make it like that only solid phase should be at the minimum because it is having a lower gas free energy and it is also a stable phase okay and uh, this would be your liquid phase so this is liquid and this is solid so this is how we can see free energy versus composition diagram for an isomorphous system okay so this is all about this video and kindly stay connected and please like share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you